What's up guys, PPD here and welcome to episode 19 of my road to Manchester City and we're going to start off this episode by doing some trades of course and as you can see right there we have signed a few silver players right there and sold them for a little bit of profit and uh, I did a lot of trading after that whole Tigris ordeal I wanted to get some money back and I managed to get about 40,000 coins or so maybe a little bit less and uh, we still have that chain long obviously so pretty excited this episode because we're gonna be playing in divisions uh with the city squad which is something i'm looking forward to a little bit nervous because divisions is going to be a little bit tough with the city squad but hopefully we can get a result so let's go into the games right now and see how we do so we head into the first game over here with the first city squad and we're heading into division eight if we win both games this episode we can have the division eight title so hopefully we can get a result here although i am a little bit nervous because this is one of the first times that the city squad goes into divisions and i'm not too confident that they would play good but hopefully we can get a result over here with Boney being on form and Zuccolini back in the team I really hope we can get a result over here we come across this guy who's got a pretty strong Premier League side right there with some very good players and Lewandowski which was a bit strange but he is a good player nonetheless and we would get the first chance of the game over here with a great tackle from Zabaleta right there it gives it to Vinny Vinny to Zuccolini Zuccolini lays it off to Boney and Boney of course going to continue his form by finishing that a little bit lucky that he got that rebound right there but it ended up bouncing perfectly to him where he finessed it and gave us the 1-0 lead early on and right after that goal we went on another counter attack Zabaleta showing that he can attack gives it to Zuccolini Zuccolini takes a shot from outside and oh boy how much have I missed Zuccolini man he was such a good player before and he's still such a good player and I'm so glad that he's back in the team so we head into the half with a 2-0 lead and we're actually dominating this game right there. As you see, we have 7 shots and we also have 58% possession and I'm feeling pretty confident. We're playing against a strong team and we're winning, which is a bit surprising. So I'm feeling confident and hopefully with a third goal, we can steal this game off. However, this guy would get his first chance. I'm not even kidding. This was his first chance on target and it ends up flying into the back and that great finish from the pay right there. And if there's anybody I don't want to be scoring on us, it's going to be Depay because he is obviously a United player. But we still have the 2-1 lead. I'm not going to let him try and come back because if I do, that would be pretty catastrophic. And looking for that third goal just in case. And I'm not going to lie, I was getting a little bit nervous. This guy didn't have too many chances this game. But I just knew that one lucky chance and he was back in the game. So over here, we would try to get an attack going. But it ends up being a penalty and a red card for... Vertonghen. Now we're gonna look at this again because I'm not sure how that was a penalty on Ianacho. <laughs> I like how Ianacho is uh, discussing with Navas. That was a penalty, right? Well, we look at it over here, and I think what happened was this guy uh, tried to clear the ball with X, but since the ball wasn't there, the game registered it as a slide tackle, and it slided, and Ianacho ran into it, and that's why it was a penalty. So extremely unlucky from him. It was a penalty though, but I can understand what he tried to do. And the worst part about that was probably the fact that he got a red card. So we now have a chance to go up 3-1. And he is down to 10 men. So he's going to be exposed at the back. So a good chance for Ianacho, obviously. We're going to give it to Ianacho because he's the one that got fouled. And we can seal off this game if we score over here. Can Ianacho do it? Steps up to the plate. Shoots it down the middle. Just under the post. And gives us the 3-1 lead. So a great penalty from the Nigerian man right there. And we now have the 3-1 lead. And I'm pretty confident that I can win this game and secure the 3 points. But it's just a matter of time if we can concede or not. So this guy tried to get an attack going over here in the 90th minute. But it bounces to Fernandinho. He clears it away. And the ref blows for full time. So we grab ourselves 3 goals, 3 points. And we're just one step closer to the Division 8 title and a great performance from the City Squad, which is something I really wasn't expecting. But hopefully we can continue playing well with this team and hopefully we can pass a little bit of this form to the second team as we head into the second game with a City Squad which is pretty exciting because we haven't played with a second City Squad in a long time. But like I said, grab yourselves 533 coins right there. Also grabbed ourselves three points and we're only two points away from that title. So two draws even would be good enough. But it would be nicer if we got a win because it makes the record look that much better. So we head into the second game with the second City Squad. And a lot of people are making their debut this episode. Uh, I think Ambrose will be making his debut. I think George Evans, Bozzaretz in center back. 
maybe not actually for Bazarets because I think I, he's been on the first team. But we come across this guy called Melt Boys FC, and we've had some pretty funny names this episode. And he had the United kit right there, but he ended up switching to the Red England kit. So I feel like this guy may be a United fan, but he does have a pretty strong BPL got team, similar to the last guy. And this one was a little bit more sweatier because it did have five at the back. But we're going to try to expose that somehow. I don't know how. But in the six minutes of the game, we go through on goal with Manu Garcia, who gives it to Ambrose. And Ambrose, what a way to make his debut. Finesses it into the back and that great finish from the bronze man. And we now have the 1-0 lead. And our strikers have been on fire. Ian Acho, Boney, and now Ambrose. Hopefully Ambrose can continue that. And you know, Boney had to put in a double shift this game. So he came into the second team. And he showed that he can still score even when he has a weaker size. So we score with Boney right there. And that would be all she wrote. Because this guy gave up. And we have won the Division 8 title. So anyways, we have now won the Division 8 title. We're going to continue that in Division 7. Hopefully we can continue it in Division 7. Next episode is going to be a live commentary, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the trades we're doing. Anyways, guys, I'll see you there. All right, guys, and to end off this episode of Road to City, we're going to do some more trading because we're so close to that 600k mark. I want to get there soon, maybe before Christmas or before New Year. That'd be great. So we do some more trades over here. Silver players are going really cheap right now because of the whole packs that EA are releasing. So I definitely recommend if you want to buy some silver players, buy them now because they are pretty cheap. I might even do a little bit of uh, investing with them. We'll see about that. But over here, just having a quick look at the trades. And I went ahead and picked up these two Beasleys for an amazing price. They normally go for around 4,000, 5,000 coins. Somehow, I managed to pick one up for 700 coins and the other for 450 so we're gonna go ahead and sell that should make around 6k profit maybe more and hopefully we will be ever so close to that 600k mark but anyways guys this has been episode 19 of my road to manchester city be sure to stay in for next episode because it's going to be a full live commentary during the gameplay and during the trades anyways guys my name is pippadeed and i'm out